people of Kampala, the coolest citizens ever that wake up every morning and make sure that they are tuned in to Urban TV watching none other but Tin City. And I'm yours truly, Humphrey. And don't you forget, Tin City is probably brought to you by the new Tasty of Fanta. So make sure you grab yourself a cold one and uh, like, I always, like I always say, uh, get rid of that bad breath and of course the thirst. But the bad bread is actually most important because it's flavored with some good flavor, sweety kind of thing, like a meat. So you have a, a good, you know, when you talk to someone in the morning. <laughs> All right, that's just me being funny. Well, we have a school gigs for you this time around. We happen to go to uh, Wampo Avenue. <laughs> I love the word Wampo because it's as funny as hell. And you can't even imagine the, the street is actually in Kololo, yeah. So Kololo down, lower Kololo, somewhere there, a turn and a twist, and there's Wampo Avenue. Yeah, there was an event there uh, organized by a namesake, Humphrey Niwam. Okay, let me just forget the other name, but you'll see the guy and of course recognize him. Yeah, real recognized, real. He's also called Humphrey. I think this Humphrey name has something genetic to it that is actually for cool people. At least a shout out to all the cool Humphreys. And all the Humphreys are actually out to spoil our name. Shame on you, shame on you. And also the receptionist who can't spell Humphrey right? Humphrey is H-U-M-P-H-R-E-Y, not H-A-M-F-R-E-Y. So if you ever spell an F in Humphrey, you did not go to school and probably it has something to do with your upbringing. <laughs> you not knowing how to spell Humphrey says a lot about your upbringing, yeah. No education maybe, ah. So, Check out the event right there at Wampo Avenue, organized by Humphrey. It is by Rich Ahan. Rich Ahan, they talk about the main things that affect the teenagers, especially sexual reproduction. Yeah, it so happens, this is a plain truth, it so happens that our teenage generation is the most that uh, smokes a lot than the previous generations. It is the one that actually drinks a lot than the previous generations. And worst of all, it is the one that is actually having sex yeah so there's a debate should the teenagers be given condoms because it so looks like even if they are told not to have sex and abstain and say no they still have sex so a uh, richer hand goes out to talk more about the teenagers or talk more to the teens and you know tell them about their sexual uh, urges that come around uh, around the adolescence time and a lot of Yibi Yaba that is actually really educative. I just call it Yibi Yaba because it's from so long. But hey, Richard Hand is actually reaching out a hand to each and every one of us. So if you watch this part, this particular episode, make sure to also, you know, reach a hand. Help someone out there who is in need. School gigs right here on Urban TV, Teen City. Starts now. <laughs> HIV, I know how to actually talk to your fellow young people who are living with HIV to help themselves know how they can protect each other, protect other people around them, issues of HIV. Now I know if it's not on, it's not safe. Now I know how to say no. Now I know my passion. Get 
We can sit with people in the media council, media, this media center that they have, which controls the media, and try to see if we can regulate the, the, the hours. Okay? Say, okay, you can continue showing you those things, but show them at a certain hour. Okay? When at least the babies have gone to bed. I think that we can succeed in doing Na kede kuno nyama taga Susana gambo zero Nebyo kuyi ya vya kukeza keza ko Yet my baby only mongo make you raise on your Okubela nange chisibu Omtamifu nganza omosibu school gigs if you do not know that if it's not on it's not safe then you probably missed out on the camp this is brought to you by Richard Han and with me I have a few couple of people who are who happen to attend the entire uh, pure educators Academy young people for young people what is the camp about actually it was the Academy mm. uh, we learned lots of things and I learned about how I can get up with my passion as yeah. a person yeah you well, I learned the fact that people who have HIV shouldn't be discriminated or, you know, stigmatized. They also have a life and HIV AIDS can be fought, like, with HIV, is it ARVs, yeah. ARVs. ARVs with the right prescription, someone can actually live a healthy life. So you actually know which dose to take? <laughs> yeah, apparently I can know that too. <laughs> what did you learn? Um, uh, I didn't know much about the cervical cancer, but when we got into this thing, we learned more and more about the STIs. STIs. Yeah. So which STI do you know? I know. Have you ever had an STI before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no definitely not. Oh my god, no. <laughs> but I know about the STIs and how to prevent all that. Alright, sure. You? Uh, as for me, I learned how to say no, you know. I don't know. So so before, you didn't go for NASA, you know, you know how to say no. No, I, okay. I knew no. how to say no. Yes. Like to a few things, but some things you can't say no. Like but now you know how to say another few things. Done. No. <laughs> like <laughs> no. <Big> one. <laughs> For me, I learned that um, a condom is the only contraceptive that can prevent both pregnancy and HIV, uh, HIV AIDS. School gigs, we are right here at Peer Educators Academy, organized by Richard Hand Youth Oriented Organization, right? Yeah, yeah. organized by very, very old namesake Humphrey. Yes, Humphrey. This has been a very long this time. This is Humphrey and Humphrey. <laughs> so Humphrey and Humphrey. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. But then you're the first guy there, so probably have to add the Humphrey Junior, maybe. Uh, yeah, so the Humphrey Junior and the Humphrey Senior, you know, because we believe in young people, uh, that's sure why thing. Humphrey is a very unique name. It's people that believe in young people, and that's why we have Humphrey, and you have Humphrey, and believing in young people. <laughs> sure. So, yeah. So, uh, talking about Peer Educators Academy. Yeah. So, I'm sure many people are just hearing about that yeah, for the first time. For the first today. time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, tell them, walk them through. What's it about? Uh, the Peer Educators Academy is where we train young people to be peer educators. You yeah. know, and peer educators mean peer to peer outreach. Peer to peer outreach. Like me and you were peers. Oh, yeah. Because we quite believe in the same principles, values, and also we have the same kind of background that we have and we share together. Oh, yeah, sure. So the peer educators are supposed to be change influencers of their fellow peers. Oh, yeah, so, and so that's why the Peer Educators Academy, we train young people mm -hmm. to be peer educators so that they can be change influencers in the society like the way you do. You know your peer educators, so many young people are watching you right now. <laughs> sure thing. Yes. So what, what, what's the most, most um, important thing you guys talk about the most important aspects? Is it just uh, uh, sexual reproductive health? Is yeah. it uh, 
is it anything more than that or is it that you put uh, your main specialization on guiding young people mm -hmm. into the, their main problem yeah. right now? One of the things, looking at the young people, they hold the hugest percentage in our population in the yeah. country. So we have to look at what is what are we most affected of. Yeah. We are affected of HIV and AIDS, yeah, sure. we are affected about the decisions we make, sure. we are affected about so many other reproductive health related issues. Sure, sure. So the Peer Educators Academy is to train the young people, give them information, sure. give them the right attitude to address such information to the society so sure. that we can be able to right. combat HIV and AIDS sure. into our society. Right. You know, to bring it from 7.4% at least to four percent you understand so for the kid out there who's probably just learning about this today mm -hmm. what would you tell them is it going to be a yearly thing is it just a one-off for this time or you know and how can they actually get to be you know educated one, about hiv and aids and yeah. all that stuff one thing we do is that it's not about hiv and aids we look at career yeah. we look at goal setting mm. we look at uh, drug and alcohol abuse, abuse yeah. we look at the challenges that young people pass through yeah, we sure. look at all that yeah. And we train the young people into that. We give them the information. But also we look at the skills, we look at the attitude. Because these guys are going to be ambassadors yeah, sure. in, in, in changing the society. So we have to also look at the issue of attitude. How can they be able to have their proper attitude in influencing their societies into changing? You right. know, so we look at that in that one month. And then after the training of one month, we work with these young people who have trained for a whole year. Mm. So that one year, we are assessing what they were trained are they putting can it in they practice implement it? so much yeah, sure. can they implement it yeah, sure. can they change the society can we have young people saying oh Humphrey Wampapla came and talked to us <laughs> and this is how I changed my life <laughs> sure, so sure, that's sure, what sure, we look sure. at really sure. yeah. so in that one year mm. we're working with them